what's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today, and today we are finally back on Megan, our brand new Town Hall 11. Going to be a brand new series on the channel, and I think we're going to have some fun with this, and today we're going to be talking about the first things you should do when you go to Town Hall 11. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this and asking for it, and honestly, I'm pumped up and I spent a little bit of time going over what I wanted to do, and I was like, man, it's the last day of these Black Friday specials, it's really tempting, but... I'm going to try not to go overboard with gemming on this account, so it's kind of, you know, something you guys can keep up with and play along with. So if we go ahead, let's hop over and check out the progress base. I have this kind of segregated and kind of separated the way we need it to. Now, the only thing we didn't get upgraded at Town Hall 10 was these two drills, and apparently uh, I forgot to do wall breakers in the laboratory, but not a big deal. Not using wall breakers a ton. We use uh, wall wreckers and stuff now. So if we look over here, these things don't need upgrades. We already have them upgraded, uh, being the elixir pumps, the gold mines, and this dark elixir drill, the one dark elixir drill. Also, the spell factory doesn't need to go up. The dark spell factory doesn't need to go up. And the dark barracks do not need to go up. No more dark troops. And then also... Hold on. Oh, okay. That goes up at 12. It's like, wait a second. I didn't think that go. Yes, that does not go up at Town Hall 11. Goes up at Town Hall 12. I forgot that was more of a recent thing. And then obviously we have all these walls to upgrade, but I also have everything else laid out kind of in order of what we want to do with them. But we also get some brand new buildings at Town Hall 11, and this is going to be huge. So let's go take a look and see what we get. Oh, quit tempting me with these deals. We get a Grand Warden. If you guys are unaware of what the Grand Warden is, we will go in depth once we unlock him. But this thing is huge, game-changing. One of the biggest reasons to go up to Town Hall 11 is that Grand Warden. We also get a brand new cannon. We get a brand new Archer Tower, a brand new Wizard Tower. We get a fourth Expo and that Eagle Artillery, which makes a huge defense di difference on defense. And then we also get 25 more walls, because why wouldn't we get 25 more walls? And then we also get that lovely Tornado Trap, a brand new trap that spins your opponents around in circles and really good on defense. So let's go ahead and let's start with this Grand Warden. Grand Warden is going to be huge to get him unlock him and try to get him to level five asap but he's going to go over here kind of with our tier one priorities for now because as you upgrade him you'll notice he has damage per second second damage per seconds damage per second where he can actually damage some structures he's got hit points regen time and he has an ability that unlocks at level five now the warden can affect ground or air troops you have to set him to ground or air depending on what army you're using and he increases our hit points, guys. And that's what's so huge about him. So he starts off with a 20% increase to your troops' hit points. And that's why it's important to have that warden in there. It's it's absolutely... It's, a, it's just such a beautiful thing. And then he also gives max hit point increase. And then when you get his ability unlocked, when you pop that ability, it makes all troops in that radius and vulnerable. They cannot die. They cannot take damage. And it starts off at three and a half seconds, which is really, really awesome. So the Grand Warden is huge, guys. And that's why he's so important to get. And one of our top tier priorities as far as what to unlock. We also have our Laboratory, which... Anytime you go up to a new town hall level, laboratory is always going to be huge. But luckily, I got some loot in my treasury ready to get our laboratory going up. Bam, we'll go ahead and get that going. And I think, uh, let me see. I think, yeah, we got Dark Elixir. I want to do heroes, but I also want to get stuff going in the lab. So let's go ahead and finish that laboratory. That way we can go ahead and start working on our offense. We'll go over a full in-depth lab guide a little bit later on. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the... Any guesses? Any guesses? I've been loving Hog Rider's attacks, but I've been working on my Lalo guys. So I'm going to go with Lava Hounds for my first upgrade. Just because, personally, I've been using Lalo a lot in War. If you're using Hogs or Bow Witch or anything like that, that's what you're going to want to upgrade. So this is all your very first lab upgrades, I think, is a personal preference. What are you good at? What are you using in war? What is going to make you a better war attacker? For me, I want to get my Lava Hounds up. That way, my balloons, uh, my Lalo will get better. My balloons need to go up as well, but we actually can't do balloons yet because we need to upgrade those elixir storages. So that's something we're going to need to do right there. Oh, we actually have... We have a rune of elixir. I didn't even realize that. So that's all great stuff that we need to work on. We also uh, can get our clan castle up, but we also have to get those gold storages up. 
This one is very huge because it gets you spell capacity plus one. This allows you to bring rages and heals and jumps rather than just like poisons, freezes, uh, and haste spells. So that's a really huge upgrade, guys. So one of the very nice things while you're working on getting some of those laboratory things going and getting those troops upgraded is you can always use those power potions, guys. Remember, power potions will let you have the max troops for your max lab. So are the max troops for your lab level. So it'll allow us to have those max balloons, bowlers, witches, or whatever we might want in there. And also, don't forget, we get Electro Dragons at Town Hall 11, which is really, really huge. So our very first priority is going to be lab. We got that done. We're going to still want to work on our laboratory. Next priority is we're going to do Clan Castle. But in order to do Clan Castle, we need to get these gold storages going up. So we'll work on that a little bit later. And then Grand Warden going to level... Uh, five as soon as possible is absolutely huge next up i have the army camps these are going to go up one level giving us 260 total camp space but you know you want to get those ground out but you also want to make sure you get this stuff going as well and then this stuff right here i kind of have an order uh, not necessarily an order but like kind of just in a line uh being the storages and that's kind of in the order uh, when you not necessarily in the order you want to do them is what I'm trying to say here I think you want to probably prioritize doing the gold storages first that way you can get that clan castle up and then you know maybe work on those uh, elixir storages and then your barracks you want to kind of do one at a time that way it's not going to take forever and then and next up we have our heroes you're definitely going to want to get your heroes up those things Heroes are absolutely huge. Absolutely a huge thing to upgrade. You don't want to be strong or weak, rather. Heroes will make your attack strong. Getting your queen to 50 ASAP, I think, is priority. And then getting the king right along behind her. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually build some of the new defenses right here. Uh, so we're going to go in. And I think this tornado trap is a game changer. I think this is a absolute monster of a game changer and i think it's a pretty high priority to go ahead and throw in there and it's also an instant upgrade and then if we go over here and take a look at more defenses we also have expo cannon we archer tower wizard tower and these guys are basically free builds right here so we can kind of get them let's move our heroes up a little bit we could basically get them for free and start working on them a little by little whenever we have a builder available just throw it on one of these guys right here. I mean, that's not a big deal uh, to get those going and get them upgrading quite a bit. Now, the Wizard Tower and the Expo, not as bad either, but I want to really make sure I get that Eagle down, guys. The reason I want to get that Eagle down is the Eagle, in my opinion, is such a difference maker on attacks. This thing will make people fail on your base a lot more often. Even with those Town Hall 10 defenses, they will still struggle if you have your Eagle. And that's why I'm really a proponent, and I have been for a while, of build all your defenses basically right away guys right as you get up to a new town hall level get those defenses going that way you will be stronger on defense and then you can use your power potions and grind up and work really hard to get your offense up to kind of match that now as far as the defenses themselves i have the dark elixir drills over here because that's not a huge priority this is kind of the order i like to do things inferno towers first uh just because i think they make a difference the eagle's also going to be in there and the tornado trap going to be in there for first thing upgraded i like to do teslas and air defenses kind of the same thing if you guys have been following along with the channel you know that i love teslas my favorite trap uh if you get a farm of teslas up it can absolutely wreck an attack and then air defenses are just really good at town hall 11 you're going to see a lot more electro dragons being used even more lalo being used so i think that air defenses are kind of you know a good thing to do and then as far as the traps go, you want to do your traps kind of, you know, kind of early on, but it's not like you have to get these done. They are going to make a difference, but I also think doing stuff like Expos, Wizard Towers, Archer Towers it might, you know, be able to make more of a difference if you're able to farm that much loot at a time. But say, you know, you're going for an Archer Tower and you fall a little bit short, throw up an Air Bomb instead, you know what I mean? And then this stuff, I kind of have Bomb Tower, in my, in my personal opinion, I think I have Bomb Tower a little bit ahead of Cannon and Mortars, and then Sweepers you kind of do just whenever. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm thinking there. Uh, let's go back in here. I don't know if we have enough. Okay, we can actually get that Wizard Tower. We can throw him in here. And then that last Expo is just going to have to wait a little bit. And that'll be something we unlock early on. Walls, I'm okay with getting the walls. We can get those pretty much right away here. And we'll just throw them like right over here and work on getting them up. 25 brand new walls for us to grind. Yay. Who doesn't want to grind more walls? Oh, man. Supercell, why you do these things to us? So let's uh, 
Why not? Let's. I don't. I don't like those little wood walls. Let's at least get them up. All right, hold on. Let's put this one over here. Let's at least get them up a little bit here, just because I don't like those wood walls. All right, nice, awesome stuff right there. So we're on our way as a town hall eleven, guys. It, it's really, really a lot to kind of take in. I know, but. I think you'll be able to kind of figure things out, go and just get it done. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done those walls. I could have maybe got the bow done. Huh. That sucks. We're really close. Oh, I don't know. Eight million. It'd be like 750,000 gold to get that bow down today. And I don't have any. Oh, we're so close, man. We're so close. I don't have any. Uh, What am I trying to say? Any star bonus left. So I don't know. We find a monster raid. Let me see if I can go find a monster raid. Maybe we could be able to throw that bow down here today. I'll be back in a second, guys. All right, guys, let's try this base right here. I don't know how it's going to work out for us, but it should be okay. Uh, this is kind of the pushing army I was using a little while ago. Looking around. It's not really like any obvious spot where the loot is. Hmm. That's interesting. But I think we want to kind of queen walk up towards the top of the base here. Let's go... Queen walk like this. We'll kind of let her walk up towards the top of the base and then we'll wall wreck her in. And I forgot we also have that lovely Titans bonus uh, for being up here in Titans League. So we can also get that kind of as we go here. Of course, the Queen wants to wall break in. Uh, I wanted these guys to kind of go in and get towards the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the Eagle Artillery. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, guys. I don't even know, man. All right, let's see. Queen's doing well. These guys are going well. King, everything's going in there. Great. Let's go ahead and get these gals in. Get them a jump to go. And let's see. Let's rage and heal. See if we can get them to get not only the eagle out, but get that town hall down. Oh, I forgot we have our lovely little eagle. Or not our eagle, our lovely warden now. Uh, let's see. Let's get that in. We'll have our warden follow along. And we're looking all right. We're not looking great, but we're looking all right. Uh, the Warden's going to give those, you know, Valks a nice little hit point boost. Uh, Queen, she's doing fine. Look at that tornado just holding everything up. All right, there we go. Nice. The Town Hall falls. And let's take out this bomb tower. We're going to let this all work. Super sloppy raid. Obviously... Uh, things could have gone a lot better on this one, but it's all right. We'll get to We'll try to get to our 70% and then kind of go from there queen do your thing or get close to 70% at least I don't know. We're, we're looking kind of rough out here uh, I don't know if we're even gonna get enough of the uh, gold that we need yikes uh, Go baby dragon. Oh, he failed. He failed. All right guys. Let's check that out not great not great at all uh let's see we needed like six hundred thousand, didn't we that's okay that's not a big deal uh I, I did math wrong there so we'll get that expo going right away or not necessarily right away but we'll get it going soon i want to keep these little guys going pretty much non-stop we're going to work on getting these storages up and we can actually go ahead and do one of these storages we're just a little bit away from being able to do here let's go ahead and boost all of our collectors for a little bit that'll allow us to let's see we need 2.5 that'll allow us to get a little bit of uh easy loot as well not war hits i want to go crap gotta change a barbarian i just need a little bit to get one of my gold storages up but i also don't have a builder available for a little bit but i want to get those gold storages going up and then use maybe a rune of elixir uh to get it might be better just to wait, though. I think it might be just better to wait until we get the elixir storages up. That way we get the full 10 million. I was going to say we could go attack, you know, one of these guys. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine waiting. Let's get this guy out of here. So that's just kind of a general idea. I don't necessarily need to do... Too, I feel like I'm doing too much right now. Kind of getting ahead of myself. And we're fine. We're doing great. We got a nice little start on Town Hall 11. I'm going to work. My goal is by the next episode, either have all these storages up or maybe even then the next episode we get those storages going 
or something like that. I mean, it's a lot of farming, but we will get there, guys. I'll be back uh, with the next episode probably later this week or something like that. So let's call it a day here. Gives you a good start on Town Hall 11, and then we'll talk about other stuff a little bit later as we kind of get going. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Town Hall 11 guide. I know I'm always all I always feel like I'm all over the place on these ones. Hopefully you guys are able to follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.